You were tuned into the Rainbow Affair Magazine exclusive with your editor in chief. Editor in chief. D- Diamond Keyshawn. Tune in and catch up with all things RA Mag at www.rainbowaffairmagazine.com. Skits and shit, and okay. say, and get fans. I just put talk. You know I'm saying, I just put say. And my, the video I made was, um, if I fall in love with you, you gotta fall in love back. Or I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. Oh! If I fall in love with you, either you gonna fall in love back, or I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. And you were saying, you know, right? And of course, it went viral because the things I say are relatable. You're know saying, right. so it went viral. So when people say, be saying I'm crazy, it's like I'm not crazy because bitch, the stuff I say, other people be like, oh shit, that's my mindset too. You know what I'm saying. In the world of Shark Santiago, yeah. what, what was it like for you when you first realized that you were Shark Santiago, the the mogul, like oh, the thing. influence of baby? Let me be clear. I honestly, at first, right, I was so not nervous, but it just was. um Kind of weird because people start stopping me in the mall and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was okay. Like, like it, let me tell you something. Ask one of my best friends, right? I used to um, literally like have anxiety attacks. I used to be sweating and shit because it was so. It was just different. You know what I'm saying? You just right. walk some people just stopping you and shit. But now I'm so used to it. It's fine. Right. <laughs> oh, right. So, what's been your favorite part of this journey so far? So let's be clear. We got radio. We got television. We got media. We got published author. Okay. author. Hello. Thank you. We got accolade for accolade. You know what has been your favorite part of the journey? Which element has been your most fun? Um, the most fun for me is just um. Well, no, because I did a lot of shit. So, <laughs> but right. the most fun has been um. You know what? Just um. Influencing people, just in general, okay. you know saying just the fact that, like I said, people love me for being me. It's such a it, it, it's such a great thing. That's why um, people a lot of people tell me I'm really humble, but it's because like I like I can't be nothing else because you know what I'm saying the fact that people love me for being myself is such a good thing. And then when I did the stage play I did, okay, uh, that was like the because honestly I always wanted to do a stage play, right? And so um and when they reached out to me, I didn't even um I I didn't even have to audition. Perfect. Come right. on. I know, right? But I mean, the, the like the character book was a gay guy. You know, what I'm saying you know, I guess right. would it be personality? So that's me. But, um, but yeah, that was that was really good for me because I, that's uh, that's really good to have under your belt in general. You know what I'm saying definitely. But yeah, I I, I thought that was a, a really good experience. So you know, we got to talk about some real stuff, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. So Sean Santiago, being one of the originators. Thank you, Frank. C- hello. That, let's be clear, okay? Let Come me on. This, because a lot of you bitches be having shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be clear, okay? As far as this social media shit goes, okay, and an openly gay male, Sean Santiago is one of the originators, okay? Now, openly gay just, male with no wigs. Come on. Th- thank you. Let's be clear. Let's be clear, okay? I open the door for a lot of you motherfuckers, but these, but these bitches be. You so we're going to talk about it. Okay, good. So, okay. <laughs> Being one of the originators of what we now know to be social media fame, what is it like for you to see the next generation, if we'll call it, our next breed of upcomers, and it's like, they don't really give it the genuine that you did, and they just do, do these things they think are going to work, and it's corny, and you just yeah. be like, what you doing, by? And the thing is this, I'm still going to ask you that, because I tell people this all the time. First of all, I because uh, people try to will try to rush my career, right? Right. The, if, if someone comes after me and they have more followers than me, people are like, I'm like, listen, I'm not even about that. Listen, okay? Like I said, I, I don't do nothing besides talk, right, and make videos and say and be myself. But my thoughts are this: I honestly think that some people, I think that people have their definition of fame is just, I, I, I don't know, because it's like some people be doing way too much. It's right. like, listen, calm down, okay? Like. A, a lot of influencers to me, they they do like you just said, they do shit that they think is gonna be funny, right? Because they because they want the fame, you know what I'm saying, or the you know what I'm saying, like and people be be like begging for this shit. It's so crazy to me because the videos I make, I if it's not funny, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm making videos because I that's how I right. do you know what I'm saying. But yeah, people, it's just, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I get it because this is people have goals. You know what I'm saying you gonna get it how you get it, but it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but so taking the approach that you did. Do you find that people tend to always reach out to you for advice, or are you still like just the person that analogy they go to for for a laugh? Um, no, people, you know, people reach out to me for advice all the time, which is crazy. 
But um, that's why I started doing this thing on my page called Shade with Shaw, where I just like kind of answer questions because people. Come on, people, Shade with Shaw. You know, uh, one of my followers actually gave me that their name for the for like the little segment on my page. But honestly, um, I um, people really ask me for advice a lot. I, I guess you know sometimes people like they they look up to you or they they think they like your brand and you're doing really they like do things you have the energy for like and Plus, a lot of the videos I make are about like personal experience or things that I'm going through that people feel like you know they can jump in. So. Speaking of personal experience, since you took it there and I didn't, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> being Sean Santiago, what's it like with your love life? Like, are you able to have a love life? Um, you know what's funny? Um, I am, but I'm not. Okay. It's like um, a lot of guys um, are like, so prior to being Sean, of course, I, I'm attractive, right? So Come on. Thing. So I clearly had met him saying meetings of now, I just be like, one, because everybody wants fame now, you know what I'm saying, you never know. Right. So, like, the the, the, the people that I, I am like, that I have dealt with, or like, you know what I'm saying, dated whatever, or the person that is someone that, um, that I met, like, w- way before, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and I know it has, like, you know what I'm saying, and like, like, you know, I can always tell, like, with, 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 with him, it's like, like, he never wants to, like, get, like, if I'm saying I'm going, he's a certain judge, he's not pressed to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm right. And you can always tell. Like, I was dating this one guy, and he was so pressed to be my, all of my celebrity friends, and I knew that, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, he was, he wanted to be with me just for that, you know what I'm saying? Right, for and who you are. Yeah, yeah. But on I, the outside. Yeah, yeah, but, I, but I'm smart, so I can always tell when people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you're not pressed to be my, my celebrity friends, you know what I'm saying? I always know, you know what I'm saying, that you know, that you're in it for a different reason, you know what I mean? So let's talk about that. So... Being Shaw Santiago all your life, you've always kept it real. You've always been that boy. Yeah, Hello. You, you know. ain't new to this. You're true to this. Thank Come you. through. It's a big thing. But okay. once the fame set in, did you lose a lot of friends? Um, You know what's funny? I, I'm going to tell you this story, which is so bad. So I had, I, I really didn't lose a lot of friends. I had, you know, and even if I wasn't famous, I still would have had met, found other people who were fake as fuck. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I honestly have like a lot of the same friends I had. Now, Grant, I will say this. Being that I have, and I don't really think it's fame, but I've grown just as a person. You know, like, you know, you get older, you, you, right. you mature. Um, a lot of my friends are still, like, doing the same shit that we did when we were mm. like, 19. So, but, but even if I wasn't famous, I still probably would think about you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's the only thing. Like, But I still, like, I have, like, a lot of the same friends for, like, 12 years or more. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're all still, like, really close. But you can, I will say this. Once you start accomplishing shit, you can see people's true colors. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of people get jealous, but, you know. And I don't think they get jealous of the fame. It's, it's, well, the, the people, some people get jealous of the attention, you know what I'm saying? Right. I like that. Yeah. So, 2019 is a part. Yeah. We've been in love with you for years. We've grown with love you. Love you. We've seen you. We got a dose of you on reality television. Mm-hmm. Come through. You know, can we expect some more of that for 2019? So, let me be clear about 2019. Okay, 2019. I honestly... I can say this um, now. Um, first of all, I'm working on my second book, right? Okay. And it's, it's like a book about. Um, well, I can't even. You oh, even look it's, 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 yeah. it's a book about basically, basically, like you said, people ask me advice all the time. Okay. It's like a book, basically, me getting advice on certain. Oh, don't. Yeah, on like maybe like on like relationships, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Basically, telling bitches that light skinned men are evil and that, come you on, know, you know, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> but I also, um, so this is the thing. A lot of people don't understand this. I have had. Uh, a lot of opportunities to do certain shows, right? And I don't do them because of the fact that they don't fit. Not that they don't fit my brand, but I, I'm not doing what doesn't make sense for me. You know right. I mean? And people don't and people don't understand that. People, literally, I'm glad I'm talking about this because they try to rush my career. My friends be like, oh, it's something like this. Just because I haven't did TV in so long does not mean that I, I'm, I'm not getting offers. So I got to take whatever offer that right. does not work. But um, I, I did I did take some for twenty nine for twenty nineteen. Um, and it's like it's like a little this little show. Um, not little show, but that's not. I hate people say that. It's a show that has like, um, it's 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 just a show. But uh, but I also I just I just met met up with a network recently, matter of fact, to talk about um some things for another network. So oh. yeah. So but, uh, but 2019, I will say this: you definitely will see me on TV 2019. Like I definitely like I finally decided to say you know I'm doing Come on. Yeah. yeah. So since stepping into the world of authorship, what's the feedback been? Yes. Like? You know what's so funny? So my cause my feedback has been like 70-30. Okay. 30 good, 30 bad. Because I, I wrote my book when I was in the 10th grade, right? And it's called? Gucci and Gold. Okay, well, hold on. Come on. Let's be clear. Gucci and Gold. But you know what's so funny? That was the title in 10th grade, too. Like, I literally wrote that in 10th grade. And I honestly, 
which I would have um, proofread it on my own instead of getting an editor because and this is a lot of shit was fucked up in the in the in the book. Right. But um, yeah, just, that's just kind of the feedback, just like you know the the grammatical errors like that. But I honestly am saying I um, yeah, I'm I'm just my second book. I'm just gonna be more hands on. You know what I'm saying I kind of rushed to get this my first book out because I was just so excited and a publishing company reached out. You know what I'm saying I was just happy, but yeah. When you find time to write a book, like let you me know, clear. I, you know what's so funny during the week. I don't be doing shit really. Like okay. the, the weekends means I be booking, I be following shit. But during the week still, I really don't be doing it. Like I like I have to to do what I can do at home. You know what I'm saying so I just you know I just be on the computer just typing shit. You know. So for the next generation who looks up to Shaw Santiago, who appreciates the realness that she brings yeah. to the table, what are those words of advice you have for them as they choose to embark upon life in the LGBT community and even possibly even in the industry as a whole? I honestly, this is about to sound cliche, but stay true to yourself. And I mean that as in, like, be yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a badass person, be a badass person, okay? If you're a good person, be a good person. You know, a lot of times, and I was saying this, that I was telling someone, you know, someone sent me a quote that said, don't change who you are because of, because people copied you, right? Oh. Because you know how I used to, like, say, like, certain shit, right? And when I, when I would hear, like, one of my friends copy me and they, and they said it a whole bunch, I would stop saying it because I felt like this. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. you are, you know what I'm saying, copying on me, whatever. But I feel like this. You really have to be true to yourself. Like, you honestly have to be true to who you are and honestly, um, yeah, just just be true to who you are. So as I was saying, so being true to yourself is honestly, like, one of the, of the things I tell everybody. I'm saying you honestly have to be yourself. And the thing is, it's okay to sometimes get some ideas from your friends, you know what I'm saying? But you, and, and just in life in general, I feel like being you will get you so much further than you trying to be somebody else. It's a quote I always tell everybody. Um... Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That is the quote I live by. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, you know, I'm going to ask you a hard question. What's up, friend? It's the big thing. In the world of social media fame and being Sean Santiago, the one and the only. Thank you. One of the originals, okay? Come on, originator. Hi. Often imitated, uh, never duplicated. Uh, thank you. Play. It's the big thing. If you had to pick someone whose page you go to to catch a laugh, who's now one of the up and coming, I guess, or even established social media comedians, who would it be? Um, you know what's so funny? Super Sid, that's my, we're friends. Oh, but, Super! And, uh, that's my bitch, but we're, um, we're friends over, she's, uh, I go to page for that, but that's my bitch, yeah. Super you know is, funny? you know what, it's, I get it, because Super's like you, she keep it a hundred, a yeah, hundred times. Yeah, yeah, and like, we're friends, that's my bitch, yeah, I honestly go to Super page for that, yeah. Okay. I mean, I can't say, you know what, just Super. You're so shady. I, I, no, I, 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 I caught that. I no, can't even nobody I, else. No, I'm trying to think of somebody else like, off the top of my head, but I can just say Super for right now. Hey, Sue. But I'm funny, though, you know. Okay, I'm going to just hold it right there. So listen, <laughs> do me this favor. What's up? As you talk about social media, let them know where they can find you on all things social media. Of course, Shad, Santiago, that's everywhere. To have, by the way, y'all, right? Y'all be having Come social media pages, bitch, and y'all be having, um, um, Y'all be having, uh, um, like, na- different names. This is so ghetto, okay? Keep one classic name. We, my, my name just rolls up the tongue. Shy Santiago, you know what I'm saying? It's on Twitter, Instagram. That brand is strong, it's, baby. It's a big thing, okay? Come on. Hi. So now, getting to know Shaw Santiago real quick. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need, to, I need to answer off the top of your head. Are you ready? I'm ready, friend. Favorite color? Red. Favorite? No, black, sorry. Come on, Shaw. <laughs> Favorite food? So when you're not working, what's your favorite thing to do that nobody knows about who doesn't know you? Um, literally, I'm obsessed with reality TV. I can watch reality TV all day long. What's your favorite show? I, I don't have a favorite. I love like it's all like I love all of them. You're saying like I love going up hip hop, love hip hop, black ink crew, like I love all the shows. Okay, so you 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 are a reality TV junkie. I am such a junkie. Bad mm. girls club, everything. Okay, so when it comes to dating, if they wanted to date Sean Santiago, <laughs> do they have to be mad? Them in between. You know what's so funny? I don't really care. Like I honestly really? don't care. Like um, I mean clearly I don't want a guy that's like you know, dressing up in heels. You know I'm saying so that that's just not my thing. But I don't really like if it's a guy. I don't I don't really care. Okay, well mm-hmm. it's a guy. Yeah, yeah. As long as Shout out to a man. man okay, yeah. Come on, a man. It's honey. a big thing. Okay. Now if I was to play, if I was to press play on your iPhone, <laughs> which y'all don't know I got in my hand, <laughs> which song is most likely to start playing? Um, right now, Deanna Taylor, um, 
come off her, her on. new album? Yeah, I, I love it. I'm obsessed what with you know about T? I'm, I'm obsessed with her new album. But you know what's funny? I'm obsessed with her mixtape that she had at first, too. Okay. Yeah, I love her. Sounds like you're obsessed with her. Yeah, she. But I'm obsessed with her music. But she, she gives me like a, a Lauryn Hill vibe. So now I'm about to put you on the spot. What's up, friend? Cardi or Nicki? Cardi. You hey. know, but that's because Cardi and I, like, we know each other, you know what I'm saying? We met, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we like, hung up with that. That's, that's my bitch. I love Cardi. So is it just because of that, or because you know she's no, she no, got her? No, no, honestly, I'm definitely a Nicki fan. Like, I'm a Nicki fan, but I'm not, like, a Nicki fan. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, like, you know, a bar. Like a like dumb hater, like an over-hater hater. Yeah, yeah, but I, I think I think Nicki's great, too, though, but I just like Cardi. Shout out, shout out to the females in hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, no shade, but, you know, Little Kim is mother. Okay? Hello, baby, Little Kim the Queen B, so, so you, you best say E. Shout out, pro B. Yes, B. B. Listen, <laughs> So, Sean, I heard through the grapevine that you might be going in the booth to do some music. Is it true? No, the hell I'm not either. Who the hell said that? Sean, I heard you. <laughs> I heard you was writing some music. Sean, I heard no, you was in the you booth. No, so funny. I honestly have always wanted to rap, but I can't, though. So, it's like. <laughs> Come on, Sean. I got I, but song. I turned into a rapper when I hit Logan. Right. <laughs> Kim, do something in you. It's a big it's thing. It's a okay. real thing. Uh, yeah, it's a big thing with Kim, yeah. All right, Big Mama Queen B. Thank you. So, Sean. As we close out, yes, spotlight on all things you. Thank you. So, thanks so much, by the way. Do it's me been a long time coming. A long time. Yeah, yeah. But I need one favor from you. What's up, baby? What's one misconception oh, thank that you, you want to clear up? So, let's be clear, because a lot of people, for some reason, think I'm stuck up. And the thing is this. I'm honestly not stuck up. And people be saying that all the time. And I will say this. You know, sometimes you say certain words or you say things that may seem stuck up. Right. But I'm not. Like, I'm a really, like, cool person. Like, I'm I'm, a, I'm such a sweetheart. And what's so funny is my best friend was just saying this recently that people don't understand that I'm such a nice person. Like, and that's the reason why I get fucked over so much by people because I'm too nice, you know what I'm saying? But people don't understand that. People don't get that I'm too fucking nice, okay? Let's be clear. Let's be clear, baby. Thank you. I'm a conquer, whole squad going bonkers. Only see me with the wrist. Survival of the fist. How I gotta stay a mystery. All these beats get my energy. Niggas wanna be my enemies. I don't give them no acknowledgement. Wasting time while I'm stacking cheese. Ain't no bother what you call it then. They just make